as you know, this is my uh, first time officiating a wedding. Uh, yeah, okay, and the last. The responsibility I have and the task I've been given is um, you know, serious, and I, and I hope that my performance lives up to your expectations, and it's beautiful and memorable to you both and to all guests in attendance. And speaking of guests, if you're here today, it's because Kiefer and Elizabeth are grateful you're in their lives and they want to share this special moment with you. Together, we make up their support system and the couple thanks you for your presence. That's your gifts, not your attendance here today. <laughs> if I've ever shared this with you or not, but I was driving a cab uh, in the Bronx and uh, I got a phone call. I mean, I got a, a call over the radio from the dispatcher saying, car 11, your mother just called. It's a boy. <laughs> and I can remember pulling over to the side of the road and just kind of collecting my thoughts. And um, you know, I knew that this was a very important moment in my life. job is to be an active participant in the nephew's life, to uh, spend time with them, uh, to um, advocate for their parents' interests. And an uncle had to be cool. And I, and I know I had that part <laughs> down packed. It was the other things I'd have to work on. We can change our fate for better Cause we've been holding it together no, it's the one that I want by my side is still here next to me. For some of you who don't know, uh, they met on Match.com. They were matched on that site, and after a few weeks' time, and after Elizabeth ran through her 375 questions, <laughs> she was finally ready to meet Kiefer in person. It's a beautiful beginning to your love story and it led us here today to this venue amongst all of us declaring your love and getting married with this beautiful wedding ceremony. Kiefer Andrew Carnelli, thank you per, for providing comfort and joy with big hugs and deep breaths. Elizabeth, the time shared with you has been some of the most happiest times of my life. Thank you for building a bookcase, a wooden box, <laughs> this arch, and <laughs> our wedding rings, showing me how you can build anything with a plan and the right tools. When trying to write my vows, all I could do was go back to things we've done together. So if you wouldn't mind taking a trip down memory lane with me as I read these vows to you. Like the first time we cuddled up on a couch after I made you dinner, I will comfort you. Like the first time I saved you from stepping on a snake, I will protect you. Like the first time you decided to change careers, I will support you. I am forever grateful that you are the one, the one who asked me the two most important questions of my life. <laughs> how are you, how is your day going? And will you marry me? Absolutely. I vow to be your partner your best friend, your wife, and your love. Like all the nature walks and talks we took to learn about each other, I will be your best friend. And like the day we got married, I will love you. privilege and my pleasure to pronounce you husband and wife, you may kiss the bride. Tonight, I'm here to 
tell you about Kiefer and how talented, funny, charming, and uh, sorry, Kiefer, I can't read your handwriting, dude. I gotta give you that 20 bucks back. <laughs> Looking around tonight, I'm so touched by the amount of people that came out to celebrate you two. Um, we've had people come up from New York, come down from New York and Connecticut, out from Alabama and <clears throat> Arizona and Oregon. Uh, it amazes me how far people will travel for a free meal. <laughs> I have the honor of being the man of honor. Um, I had a really interesting conversation yesterday where we talked about change. Uh, and I think it's really important uh, that you remember this moment, you remember this feeling, you remember commitment, as it's all been said. And so don't be afraid of change together. Um, be a change, be afraid of change apart. Kiefer, I've seen you come an extremely long way, um, especially recently, like, you've become very easy to admire. Like, looking at you and your, the, your hard work, your dedication to the person you love, uh, how good you are at Rocket League. Like, <laughs> so through the tough times, just give and receive empathy, support, patience, and counsel from each other. When you guys don't feel as excited as today, just remember to focus on the things you love about each other. Sometimes it's easy to focus on the things that you don't, but if you let those go and focus on the things that you know that you love about each other, that will keep you together. Like I said, the one thing, never go to bed angry. Love can be washed away with the currents of emotion and, and passion replaced by indifference. The one thing that plants its feet and stands firmly rooted is commitment. Love got you here, commitment will keep you here.